Hello, I am Inder and this is not a sponsored video. Basically, mini PCs have come a long way. Now, B-Link ME Mini is a very strong device for home lab, NAS, media server and other tinkering projects. It arrived securely uh, via DHL. I ordered it from their website. Unboxing experience was quite nice, nothing fancy, simple packaging, a booklet that gives you details in different languages, the device itself, comes with an HDMI cable and a power cable. And for drives, I got uh, a Samsung 990 Pro where I'll install the system instead of EMMC and uh, Orico drives for storage. And for system install, we'll burn our OS on a Sony USB. For OS, I uh, went with Zima OS as it's simple, it's new and it's easy to use. I did not uh, go true NAS way as I wanted this setup to be easy and simple and also something new to try. From Zima website, I downloaded the client and the installer. It was simple. The client discovers, tries to discover Zima OS, but right now there's nothing installed. I used the pen drive open on my Mac Studio and then using Berlin I uh, burnt the OS onto the USB. I just wanted to check B-Link just without any boot segmentation. To my surprise, it had Windows 11 Home pre-installed on the EMMC. It was not a regular Windows, it was Windows 11 home version and there were no apps. This seems like a very, very bare bones system. And now it was time to open up B-Link Mini. It has these rubber pluggies covering the screw holes. And then once you have opened these four screws, you can open the device easily. The slot 4 is where I want to put Samsung because that has faster uh, bandwidth than the other slots. Peel off the sticker and install the NVMe. Secure it and then I just kept the lid on without tightening the screws. Then with starting the system you have to press F7 and I was in the boot devices menu. Here you click on the USB and then go ahead with the install using DOS like arrow keys and spacebar and enter. And Zima OS was installed on client. I started to look for the device and it saw it immediately. Then I went on to create the user account and password. And then the most important part, choosing the RAID configuration for the storage. As the lid was not tightened with screws, I opened it up again and I decided to populate it with three Orico drives instead of four. I wanted to cover all the four corners so that there is no heat buildup and it's easy and also I'm testing this device right now. So I populated all four corners of B-Link Mini. These Orico drives are IG740 Pro. Remove that sticker from the uh, thermal pad. And these devices come promised uh, as enterprise grade. They have um, higher TBW and they come with a screw and a heatsink. 
but heatsink will not install on b mini because there's not enough space and then you can see the fast move video where i'm just installing each nvme one by one and then after that i pack the pluggies away in the box because i won't be using them and i started the dashboard and there is lots to explore here this is version 1.4.3 from their website then when you go into combining drives i went with raid 5 as it gives me uh, two drives as storage and one drive for parity and i don't want to do anything on emmc so i gave my storage a name and then agreed with the condition and confirm pool creation was pretty quick but it wanted to verify the system meanwhile i went ahead and installed plex on the system and then after the drives were building i noticed something in the storage that disk missed error was there although the pool was created healthy i went on to their forums and saw that there is a method to update the zima os through uh, offline mode to get around this bug go to their github release page and download an raucb image file and take that file and then put it in the dot ota folder so on mac it was already configured i just showed the hidden folders and on dot ota in offline folder you just have to drag it and after that you just need to restart b link mini and zima os will show you an update as you can see on the dashboard we have an update available and i went ahead and updated zima os and plex also The missed disk error was due to the Zima OS and there was nothing wrong with the pool. Pool was working. I checked it on uh, the SSH uh, panel as well. So as you can see, the Orico drives are mapped and they are in RAID 5, all working good. Hope this video was helpful, stay tuned and keep exploring. Cheers!